it has been a hot second since uh since my last video on here so thanks everyone for sticking around and being patient with me um if you don't know i recently started a full-time job which is why i have slowed down my youtube schedule but um considering all of the craziness that's happening right now i have a lot more time at home than i normally would so i figured now would be a great time to get this channel back up and running. If you're new around here, I'm Sabs, also known as Sustainable Sabs on Instagram, where I talk about all things zero waste living, low impact living, uh, minimalism, veganism, all that good fun stuff. I wanted to share a little bit about my sort of low waste practices and how they've kind of changed a little bit um, given the new landscape that we're living in right now. I have not been bulk shopping at all since like the beginning of March, unfortunately, just out of abundance of caution. So um, that means I've had a lot more recycling that I've been taking out. I don't have that much more trash necessarily. I definitely do have a, a little bit more, but um, I think it's totally forgiven given uh, the state of the world right now. This is kind of like an unprecedented time. So it's totally normal that I'm not able to live as low waste as I would like to right now, but I am doing my best with what is given to me. I actually just got back from a grocery trip, which you probably saw in the intro, if you didn't skip through that, and I wanted to share some of my haul with you. Um, it is mostly made up of fruits and vegetables and a couple of sort of like grain dried goods. I'll also show you guys what I'll be eating throughout the week with these items. I also have in my pantry some canned beans, a little bit of pasta, a bunch of flour. I don't know if I'll do anything with that yet, but we'll, uh, we'll see how the week goes. Anyways, I'll just get right into the haul. <laughs> all right, so with my groceries, I brought all of my reusable bags, obviously. Um, I'm kind of just going to go through everything that I bought for myself. So I'll start with the smallest bag. I, um, very important, pretty much uh, what's getting me through this time right now. I got three <laughs> dark chocolate bars. Um, these are like shiny paper on the outside, like sort of like glossy paper. So I don't know if they are recyclable. I think in New York they are recyclable, but check your local recycling facility to see if they're recyclable near you. Honestly, the most important part for me was that they were fair trade um, and that they uh, are vegan, obviously. So I will be very much enjoying these the rest of the week. I also bought four oranges. I'm a huge fan of oranges and vitamin C, especially right now. So um, I splurged on these even though they're not organic or local, but health first. All right, on to the next bag. Um, this is just boxed pasta that I bought. None of this is sponsored. I bought all of my own groceries. I also bought some rice. Um, so I was kind of grappling going back and forth between this big, uh, like plastic bag of rice. It was about twice the size of this one, um, but it was not organic and I think it was grown in Japan. This one was grown in the US and it is organic. Um, and even though it's smaller, I know that the, that hard plastic is can potentially get recycled and soft plastic cannot. So between the two options, even though the other one was a larger bag, um, I ended up just going with this one, so. That was my logic behind that. Next up, I got some Golden Delicious apples. They, um, I got four of them. I just put them in this bag. They're not organic. The store that I went to was not an organic store. Um, the organic store that is closer to me, um, or at least one that has more organic options, is very small and it's usually kind of crowded. So I didn't really want to go there and uh, add to the crowdedness of the location. So I ended up just going here um, and supporting another sort of bodega uh, in my area. All right, I also got uh, a couple of zucchinis, which is actually the first zucchinis I bought this entire year, I think, um, because they're usually a summer vegetable, but they were one of the only package-free veggies that I found at the store. So I got these. All right, now onto my last bag. I got a stock of celery because I'm a celery fan and it's great. Um, the ends I can use for veggie, uh, veggie, veggie scrap broth, which I've been making quite a bit of lately since I've been home so much. Um, I got some 
uh, cremini mushrooms that I put into my own bag. They were in like this bulk bin um, at the store. Um, I got a couple of yellow onions and last but not least, broccoli crab. All right, so here it is, my entire haul. I definitely spent 42, like 38 on it, something along those lines. It is the evening. I'm not particularly hungry right now, but I'm definitely gonna cook something up uh, shortly for dinner. Um, I'm thinking, I already have pasta for lunch, so I do have some, like I said, I have some cans of beans. So maybe I'll do like a, like tacos. I do have flour and baking powder, so maybe I'll make like uh, fresh tortillas. I have black beans. I might roast up some broccoli. Actually, that sounds really good. Okay, yeah, that's definitely what I'm doing tonight. So my camera battery died and my other battery, uh, which I thought was charged, was not charged at all. And I have all this beautiful food in front of me and I don't want to wait for it to charge. So I'm just going to film this on my phone. Apologies for the last minute change. I'm just going to do a quick taste test. So here are my tortillas. I made three of them. I'll link the recipe that I use for the, tor the tortillas in the caption below. And then I... Um, just made up like sauteed some veggies, um, zucchini, mushroom, onion, and then I added some white beans that I had from a can. Um, and then the spices I used were garlic powder, chili powder, paprika, did I say garlic powder? I did. Salt <laughs> and um, coriander, cumin, did I say cumin? Wow, my brain isn't working. So I'm gonna assemble that. And then I also have, I've just been like holding on to this mango chutney, which like I know is definitely not the realm of tacos, but I don't really have any other sauce, so I just figured, why the hell not? We shall taste. Mmm. Yes, yes, yes. Damn, this is good. Make your own tortillas, people. All right, y'all, please ignore my messy bed and the poor lighting. It's seven o'clock. Sorry also for the cars, but there's not that many, cause you know, that word that you can't say on YouTube anymore. Earlier today, I made a huge batch of, fry of rice from that box that I bought the other day, um, and I cooked it in some homemade veggie scrap broth. So I'm having leftover rice, and then I also sauteed a bunch of veggies. So I have zucchini, some broccoli stems, some mushrooms, some celery, and then I topped it off with soy sauce, um, garlic powder, a little bit of chili powder, because I thought that was a good idea. Um, and then some black sesame seeds because I am hashtag fancy. So I'm gonna do a little taste for ya. Mmm. Very good. Very cheap. Low-ish waste. Not complaining. I know this isn't part of my grocery haul, but I did want to share something zero waste that I am eating this week. I am eating a cacao chia pudding from Fresh Bowl. I actually work for Fresh Bowl um, and we just rolled out a delivery program with all zero waste meals. Everything comes in uh, reusable glass jars that you can actually return for uh, store credit towards your next purchase. Delicious zero waste meal without any of the waste and without any of that hassle. So um, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, we're just delivering to the New York and Brooklyn area right now, but definitely check it out and see if you're eligible for a delivery. Thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, drop a comment, share it with some friends, whatever the mood is for you right now. I don't know if I'll see you next week, but I'll see you the next time around.